story you'll only see on the one and only about an unusual and colorful species roaming the streets of South Florida. Florida has more non-native reptiles than anywhere else in the world. That's right, and there's one that's been spotted in some very unlikely places. Let's go to Local 10 News reporter Janine Stanwood, who has this exclusive tonight. Yeah, he's under there. We're, we're finding them in the urbanized environment. We're on a reptile hunt, but this one's a little different. We're scoping out alleys, parking lots. And they'll hide on your vehicles. Busy strip malls and even dumpsters, where an unusual red-headed creature from East Africa has been taking up residence. And the first reported acknowledgement of them being in Florida was in 1976. The species is called Peter's Rockagama. Males have a bright reddish head and a multicolored tail. Like most non-native reptiles here, scientists at the University of Florida say they were likely exotic pets released by a dealer at one point in Homestead. And recently their population seems to be booming. So we're not exactly deep in nature. This is an Applebee's parking lot. and We've seen several of them all over the place. Here's one in Flamingo Park, right in the heart of South Beach. Check this out. And all of a sudden there's a lot more. And so now we're wondering, could they be invasive? Dr. Brian Falk with Everglades National Park says the Agama is an agile hitchhiker, clinging to the underbellies of cars and wheel wells. While they don't yet have a foothold in the park or in the wild, let's just say they get around and that's not good. And, and then you'll drive somewhere and bring that lizard with you. And so we can be dispersing them to other parking lots. And if those parking lots are next to a natural area, then we potentially spread that population to a natural area that we would be concerned about. What do they do? What do they eat? Well, we still are doing research on that at the University of Florida. But if you look at what their diet is in their home country and in the home area of Africa, you'll see that they're primarily carnivorous with uh, an interest in insects. Insects, including native and endangered butterflies like this one, which is also a concern. By the time the general public recognizes the, the non-native reptile, uh, it's beyond our ability to basically eradicate at that point. So you're saying at this point, it's too late to get rid of them? Yeah, unfortunately, it seems like that's the case. So what do you do if you've seen one of these agamas under your car or even in the parking lot? We've actually seen them right here at Local 10. Well, there's an app on your phone that you can download. It's called I've Got One. You click on it, you upload pictures and information. That way scientists know exactly where these reptiles are. For more information on the app and the Peter's Rock Agama, go to our website, local10.com. We're in Pembroke Park. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News. All right.